in a few minutes we will be uh, we will going to start our zoom um, meeting actually our topic for this afternoon is taken from our creative writing uh, module 7 so this is the last module in your creative writing so we will explore um, important apps and drives so that it will help us make our lives even better than before so this is very helpful for each and every one of you it is really um, useful in fact it is used by so many students employees employer or anybody so this is very um very useful in our time okay so with that we are going to start but before we start i would like to ask any one of you to start our meeting with a prayer um who would like to volunteer If no one would like to volunteer, I will just call somebody to offer a very simple bahalag mubura, basa simple basa. We can start with a prayer. Um, Maricho, are you okay? Is your signal okay? Maricho, magsayo. Silence means no. Uh, how about see si Charles? Charles, is your signal okay? Your your mic is open. Are you ready to pray for our <laughs> before we start? It's like simple lang. Charles. Silence means no. Ah, <laughs> uh, kinsa may kusog kusog signal dere. How about um, Margaret? Is your signal okay? Would you like to be so kind to open a invocation, opening prayer, to start our Zoom meeting? Uh, signal is okay sir uh, okay so thank you for opening <laughs> prayer with this zoom meeting <laughs> <laughs> oh no uh, sorry ha, sir if it's a bit noisy at the back we have our puppies um it's okay lang uh gamay lang basa ma start ng tag prayer Okay, sir. Thank you. <laughs> sir. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Papa God, I hope this meeting goes well, despite all the calamities that we have, especially with the risky weather today. Um, I hope we all learn every um, wonderful things new uh, today. And I hope that it could help us in our future um okay Mary. mother of god for us in your son in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen amen wow thank you so much margaret yes, for sir. that um beautiful prayer okay um without any further ado we will dive now to our lesson so I will going to share my screen to all of you. Um, okay. Did you see my screen? Do you see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So we are now in our um, module seven. 
Uh, this is all about online portfolio, a repository of learning. So author at work. So it will talk about more on portfolio. So uh, we are going to talk about portfolio for your future um, reference because uh, during your immersion, work immersion, maybe you will be required to create an account in using the platform of LinkedIn. So when you are not familiar with the LinkedIn, later you will understand or you will know what is the LinkedIn. So this lesson is your preparatory um, to engage in the platform of learning the LinkedIn. So we will move on to the next slide. But before that, we will have our um, What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca and today we're going to be talking about netiquette. What is netiquette? Net etiquette or netiquette is how you behave when you're taking an online class. Now that most of the schools in the nation are doing the remote or distance learning, teachers have been asking across the country, how do I get my students to behave? So I put together some tips so that you can get full participation points in your classes. If you believe you can move the highest mountains, cross the greatest oceans, and walk across the water, the water. You feel defeated, falling on your knees, and looking up for some hope tonight. You try to stand up, but you throw your hands up, like you no longer have the strength to fight. Cause you've seen too many sunsets, too many days, ending in the darkest night. But on your own, you never know, you never know. If you believe you can move the highest mountains, cross the greatest oceans, walk across the water, the water. Believe you can move the highest mountains, cross the greatest oceans, walk across the water. If you believe, they say that all you need. But it's almost like you lost your way Took a few wrong turns, took a few breaks Falling behind now, looking for grace Cause you need someone to lift you up, yeah Make right of the things you've done Cause on your own, you'll never know, you'll never know If you believe you can move the highest mountains Cross the greatest oceans Walk across the water some hope tonight you try to stand up but you throw your hands up like you no longer have the strength to fight Cause you've seen too many sunsets too many days ending in the darkest night but on your own you'll never know you'll never know if you believe you can move the highest mountains cross the greatest oceans walk across the Say that 
said all you need is faith But it's almost like you lost your way Took a few wrong turns, took a few breaks Falling behind now, looking for grace Cause you need someone to lift you up, yeah Make right of the things you've done Cause on your own, you'll never know, you'll never know If you believe you can move the highest mountains Cross the greatest oceans walk the Play hard, wash your hands, and I'll catch you next time Okay, that was a pretty impressive um, starter so that you, you could stay awake and alive during our um, Zoom meeting. So first thing is that what I need to know. So in this um, Zoom meeting, what I need to know, what, what, what are the things that... Um, that I need to know in this module. So these are the things that you are going to learn after completing this module. You are expected to familiarize the concept of e-portfolio. E means electronic, so e-portfolio. Second, create an online portfolio in Google Drive. So you will, your you will be having the opportunity to create your own portfolio and save it in the Google Drive. So I presume that all of you already have a Google account. So that Google account will be used and you navigate in your Google Drive in order for your files to be saved in your uh your files will be saved in the google drive so in the future it will be your tool or a reference for your other um activities okay number three third upload chosen outputs of students from previous modules or oh, you can also upload um example when you answer your module using the Google Docs or the Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Word, so that Microsoft Words can be uh, saved in your Google Drive as your output. So this is very useful. Okay. If any question that will arise during the discussion, just uh, hit the button. Uh, there is a hand raising there in your uh, in the bottom. So as a reaction, you can click the the hand raise if you have any question, or you can click emoji. What is your feelings? And then there's a lot of features in Zoom that we can do to make our um, meeting enjoyable <laughs> and engaging so ingonana okay next slide this will be the the picture or the example of portfolio so you can see that um at the end of this um lesson you are you are going to make your own portfolio so as you can see that uh, th those are the example. Um, there's a lot of examples that I can share, but uh, I cannot upload many things. Kanilang sang tulo, so this can be uh, helpful for you uh, as a guide. Okay, to give to give you the picture on what is the image of that e-portfolio. Next thing is. Diba, I'm talking about the Google Drive. So this is, the, this is my Google Drive. So as you can see, uh, I, can, I have my face there. Makita ninyo akong face there. Dennis Kitoy, nakita niyong cursor. Have you seen my cursor? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Okay. So, uh, for your information, in your Google account, you can create as many as as many as you can Google account. So when say uh, uh, Google Drive is can only gigabyte. It's okay, gigabyte. You can create as many as you can. You can see I have a lot of accounts. I have Dennis Kitoy, this is BYU. I have four, you can see here, four plus my DeepEd account, I have five accounts. So your drive, Google Drive is very useful for you to store your, um, your kanang files, your videos, all of the documents, important documents. Imura na siyang picture run, then imu is save sa, you will save it to your Google Drive. So this is a very safe kanang storage for you, for all of your files. So kanang siya. So I encourage you to create your account and then starting uh, save your your documents in your Google Drive. So one of it is the e-portfolio. When you create your e-portfolio, you can also uh, save that in your Google Drive. Okay, this is the drive. Uh, as you can see, ang Google Drive, Monisha, Triangle. Can is triangle ang yahang icon. Onya na adiri makita ni mo. You can see it in the apps. Kaning na nakita nyo kung cursor. Na dito sa apps. When you click the apps, it will appear and you can see the triangle. That is the Google Drive. Okay. So these are my files. Um, saved in my Google Drive. Okay. So moving on. Um, as we continue our, as we move on to our discussion, we, I'm going to uh, give you a test. We're going to have a pre-test just to, just to check if you learn, uh, if you, if you have the knowledge of this e-portfolio. Now, as we start our Canning pretest. I want you to. I want you to log in. Uh, I want to log in. Sa kining apps. I hope nga makalog in mo. Uh, um, using these apps. Uh, we will try. We will try. Uh. Try to log in. Inisya ka ni. At tumo sa class point dot apps. Nakita ninyo? Do you see? At tumo sa inyo ang URL, type ninyo ang class point dot app dot slash join. Yes, sir. Okay? So, Tung so, nana mo dira mo ni siya mo appear sa inyong window. Kaning ink no class point. Okay? Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so we are going to start our pretest. So this is our pretest. Uh... Okay, our pretest is only one minute to answer every question. So I want you to answer it, read the question, and then answer it um, in just one minute. Okay? So we will okay, start. Sir. Is what now, sir? Dili. Uh, oh, dili. Na I code. Na I code. Na na kaning code kita ni yung code sa taas kani. Yes sir. Kani kani. Kita ra sir. Kita. Yes. Ang code na dere class code mo ni seven zero five seven eight. Okay, as I click the multiple choice, magsugod na yahang one minute. Hantod nga mahuman ang one minute. So another question na sad. 
And then ayo lang maghawa dito sa class point kay musunod ra man na ang iyahang question, next question. So don't go out from the class point because uh, these are uh, I have five questions for you to answer. Okay? Are you ready? Ask to, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, ask to say, sir. Ko ando siya class point that up, a uh, class point up. Okay? Sir, sa lang sa website. Ah, uh, okay. So, ato sa URL, idiritso lang sa URL and then type the class point up. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Kani ang mugawas anak kani 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 ang mugawas. Okay? Oh. We will wait for you and then we will answer it together. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> excited na lang. <laughs> excited na lang. All right. <laughs> okay. So let's do it. Okay, and then here. Okay, one question. I will hit the button and then choose your letter and then submit. Okay? Okay? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Um, you know, need Oh, kasi nag-swat-swat dia annotation. <laughs> yes, sir. The late magod mo, sir. <laughs> okay, you still have 15 seconds. Be ready for the next question. Okay. I got four uh, I got four answers in letter D and one answer in letter A. Okay? So next next question. This is the next question. Sir, wait, sir. Need up. Okay. I like don't go out from the apps. It will continue. Pwede mali tag-answer, sir. <laughs> Na-submit so, na ni mo. You already submitted the answer. <laughs> okay, uh, we got uh, two of you answer letter A and then three of you answer letter C and then one of you answer letter D. Okay? We, on, we know that the answer is letter C. It's Google Mail. Diba? Okay, next question. Okay, next question. Which does not define e-portfolio? Click the button, multiply, and then choose your letter, and then submit.
Spotify kena Ami Miti. Ya. Sekian terima kasih. Aku nak kabel di sini. Oke, okay, the correct answer is letter B. But the, the answer is letter B. So promote incompetence. So that is a mistake nga I promote ang e portfolio for incompetence. Amawa ni si Ray hug for you is very useful. Some of you answered letter A and letter C. Okay, next question. Last uh Second to the last. Hit the button. Hit the button. We just broke. The following skills essential for the students in higher learning is carrying the wind. Luca. Answer letter S. Agbum na mida na ni sir. Okay. The answer is letter B, all of the above. So one of you yes. answer letter Bright A. Bright tagging ako eh. But <laughs> most of you answer letter C. All of you are, most of you are correct. So Sir, next, wow. the last question. This is the last question. Wait, I'm going to answer it. Okay. Okay, wow. I salute. All I most of you got the correct answer. Um it's letter C. Oh, sir, makalbaan mo. Sir, makalbaan mo gud music mo concert, mo music background sir ba. Okay, that's all. That's all for our pretest. Now we will proceed to our discussion proper. Thank you so much for your participation. I'm I'm so happy that uh, you attended and then you, you were able to access the, the class. The class went up. Okay. Okay. So moving on, moving on. Task the next, not on a slide. This one. Uh, lesson discussion. The COVID-19 pandemic has taken its toll on, a, on, on a lot of people around the world and to bring up a lot of adjustments and initiatives have to be done. So we all, all of us are aware um, what happened to our country or even the whole world because of this pandemic. Now, 
uh, because of what is happening around us, it is very difficult and hard for us to continue our education in a normal way. So the educators, they are planning and um, researching on what are the things that could be done and then what are the things that could make our life a little bit easier without following the normal normal process or or we will now going into the new normal so the educate the education sector is one of the many that have been ravaged by this dreaded and seen enemy so the answer is e portfolio or online portfolio will be brought up along with what Google Mail and Google Drive are under how to in these lessons. So we will be talking um, two platforms, the Google Mail and the Google Drive. But this is already understood that if you have a Google account, you can have access this Google Mail and Google Drive, okay? So next, what is an e-portfolio? An e-portfolio is an electronic format for students. Always remember to record their work, to record their goals, to record your achievements. And also e-portfolio can be a reflection. You can put everything what you learn and what what are the things that you are learning right now and what is your plans in order for you to improve your your learning so there will be a reflection process um in one of the page of your portfolio to be written these reflections these achievements and these goals to be worked out or to improve or to develop in order for you to really cope up for the demands in our community when we are talking about technology, okay? In, in, in this learning, uh, you are going to share and receive the feedbacks coming from your teachers uh, while presenting your e-portfolio. Uh, I just want you to know that e-portfolio is not only for my class. You can also use this e-portfolio to your other subject so when 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 you are skilled enough to organize your e-portfolio then you can submit that to your subject teacher and your subject teacher can easily access it and see what what are your progress and what are your answers and how do you um, make a creative approach in presenting your answers so there's a lot of creation going on. Your imagination will be utilized. Then you can present very much of, uh, with a nice background or anything that, that you can use using all of the kanang mga attachment in this portfolio. So I'm very sure and very certain that your subject teacher will give you a promising grade even you will receive a highest honor grade. Um, all you have to do is just, just to learn the process. And this e-portfolio is very useful to each and every one of you. Now, it enables the students to represent information in different formats and depending on the software. Take the information with them between schools. So this is... Um, very useful whether you are in the school or when you are applying for a job or you are presenting this to your organization, to your group mates or any kind of gathering and then sharing of information and sharing of ideas, even um, stock knowledge. This e-portfolio is very um, useful in presenting all of your creative imagination and creative thinking uh, not only your critical thinking but also your creative thinking so i assure you when you learn and develop um, the skills 
in doing this e-portfolio, this will be an advantage for you uh, to help you present yourself very well. Okay? So e-portfolios are a way to generate learning as well as document learning. So the, the, the good thing in e-portfolio is that all of the things that you created will be stored, will be documented, will be put into a drive. And then this can be accessed for in the future, maybe 10 years, 20 years from now, you can still go back and see what are your portfolio during this time. So then you will learn something. Um, this is very kanang useful to all of those people. Kanang, a lot of people is now making a journal, journal for their uh, ancestors, their grandma, their grandpa, their great great grandma, grandpa. So they can collate, they can collect pictures, photos, and then put that in making an e portfolio. Example Dennis Kitoy e portfolio. A Kitoy clan's portfolio. So you can create your own generational link together with your grandma, grandpa, or in the school, you can make your own portfolio with your subjects under it. And then what are the things that you have done in every subject so that in the future, when you come back and see what, what are the things that you have done during your high school days, then you can still remember and reminisce what are those things, what are the activities that you have developed during these days. I, I can recommend that this is very useful, not only for today, but also will be useful in the future. So it generates learning because they provide an opportunity and virtual space for students to critically assess their work so once you will make a portfolio and then you already published it and then you learn in the future, you will learn something and then you go back to your portfolio and add something and add more about what you learn. So it can be uh, customized uh, to make it more convincing and beautiful in the eyes of the future employer or I don't know, future someone that will try to see what are your backgrounds, okay? It will also uh, reflect on the work and make connections among different subject areas, assignments, and other activities, such as work experience and extracurricular activities, just like what have, I have said a while ago. So there's a lot of connection, a lot of components that can be useful when we are in the platform of this portfolio. Okay, moreover, it is an effective learning tool because it supports students, meaning the, the portfolio is a student-centered. Uh, the portfolio will make the student kanang popular. It will make the student famous. Why? Because when they visited your e-portfolio, they will learn something about you. Maybe you can have your blog. Maybe you can have your um, businesses. Or maybe you can have your um, research and learning. So you can post it there. Somebody will following you and then try to see what are the things that you shared in your portfolio. Then they will learn things from you. So in that, uh, this portfolio will 100% support the students. And then it will make your knowledge uh, very constructive. And then it will make otherwise invisible aspects of the learning process. It is very visible and place agency in the hands of students with foster learning, learners and motivation. So I am very excited to present to you this e-portfolio. And then I hope that you will have the motivation to begin and then step by step learn the process line upon line and then you will develop the skills on how to present your e-portfolio a very nice 
and convincing in the eyes of those audience that would like to see your uh, accomplishments. Okay? So, how are we going to access the e-portfolio? So, in accessing students' e-portfolio, students must have their Google Mail accounts. So, you must have a Google Mail account, uh, which they will be using before they can open their online folders in their Google Drive account. So, I have a, a little, little bit clip on how to create your Google account. I'm, I'm sure that you already have your Google account. But um, as what I've said, you can create a lot of Google accounts in different names. So I just want to share it to you, walk it through on how to make it because you will do it again and again when you create another account for your, um, for your Google. Uh, okay, so I will be showing you a little bit of kanang presentation on how to create Google account. Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you are new in this channel, just click the button below and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell okay our topic for today is all about creating our google account
So okay. Um that is the process on how to create a uh Google account. Now, after that, if we already have the Google account, so we can access now to our Google Drive. The same as what I presented to you um, during the start of this meeting, I have my account, this one. And then you can see I, I have a lot of accounts, five accounts, and then as you can see my cursor there, you can see the, the apps. And then there's a lot of kind dots. When you click that apps, then the Google Drive will appear. And then in this uh, triangle form. So when you open that, then you can have, um, this is ready for all of your files to be, to be saved in your Google Drive. So I know I know a lot of you already know how to do it. I just um, walk it through because this video will be used in the future for those um, students who are beginners. So they are trying to access on how to open their Google accounts and then go into their Google Drive. So, okay. So to proceed, we move on to our discussion. Our next slide is this. So with a Gmail account ready and by following the different steps in navigating Google Drive, you can already create your portfolio and save whatever outputs you are asked. Indeed, technology plays a very vital role. There's a lot of people already dependent on using the technology just like what we are doing right now. Uh, we have this uh, Zoom meeting. We also have the Google Meet and the other platform in uh, doing a meeting just to help students, everybody um, access and then share their ideas and knowledge together in a certain group. So this is very vital and it will, it will always play a very significant in this changing world and it will make our lives, especially in academe, in, in, in this very trying moment. And then as we access the technology, we can make our life a little bit easier and we can understand each other um, with all of the knowledge that we are going to share in this platform the Zoom, Zoom app, and then the Google Meet, that all of these platforms is very vital in order for the, the learning and developing um, students towards um, a very bright future in their academic field. So students will not stop learning because we have this technology. So until this moment, students can continue learning even by virtual or maybe in your case, you are just getting your module every week so that you can answer it uh, when you go home and then submit your answer using the technology, especially uh, Messenger, Facebook Messenger, so all of this technology is created in order for the student to really communicate with their subject teacher and their teacher. Maybe it is asynchronous or synchronous, but still there is a way that student and teacher could meet each other and understand each other. And then one of these tools that we are discussing right now is the e-portfolio. This is very important, and this is a preparation for you, as what I've said, in the future, 
because you are going to have your immersion. Um, you are going to have that work immersion. And one of the activity that you are going to do or going to engage is you will go inside the LinkedIn, LinkedIn platform. So this platform will help you uh, polish um, all of your learnings. And you can also learn in that platform on how to connect people, even not only in the Philippines, but outside the world in order for you to really understand and learn many things and then improve your skills, improve your knowledge in academic, um, whatever field that you are choosing, maybe in engineering or education or medical courses, in that platform, LinkedIn platform, it will bring you to a greater height and see the big picture what is happening in the world. So you will see a lot of professionals there and then you can connect with them and learn from their teachings. And then this e-portfolio is a preparation for you to present yourself, um, present whatever you have as a person. And then you just communicate, in, you communicate it using the e-portfolio and presenting this in a platform and then publish it in the uh, Google account, Google Drive or in the Google and then people will search your link and then they will, they will see your e-portfolio and they will learn something about you because e-portfolio can be published publicly so people can see what are your backgrounds, okay? What are your accomplishments? Okay, I will be show, showing you on how to navigate, on how to create e-portfolio. So please take note, stay tuned, <laughs> uh, stay wherever you are, just sit down and then enjoy the video presentation. See you in the video. And then, <clears throat> Oh, uh, wala pa di ay. Uh, before that, before the video, um, you uh, see you see your chat. This one, see your chat box to answer the questions in the paragraph. Actually, I didn't put this one in the chat box. I put this one in our GC, Savenos Love Learning. You can see that and click that one, and then you can answer the questions. That would be your, uh, what I have learned. So you can answer those questions there uh, using your Google account. Why? Because I can check it out and then give you grades because you have your Google account. If you don't have Google account, it's different for me to, to see your answers. So it is very important to write down your google account your google email address okay so you can access this one there in our gc uh venus love learning okay so anytime uh, after our meeting you can answer that and i can access your answer in the column that say responses then i can see your names there and i and uh, and i will going to check and give you feedback uh according to your answers so expect that there will be a feedback i will be giving you feedback each and every one of you uh just to check that you really understand our lesson this afternoon okay so moving on um uh this will be our application activity the, the portion in what I can do. So we will create a portfolio. So your portfolio create creation will be your application activity uh, in the portion of what I can do. So this is your um, hands-on or your final output in our discussion this afternoon. So. 
Um, I will be show you, showing you the video, right? So we will find where is that video. <laughs> Maybe the next slide. Okay, this is the video. The first thing that we're gonna do is go to the Chrome browser. And then you're gonna type in the search box sites.google.com slash new. And then after that, you're gonna double click this black template right here. Your site name and page title will be up to you. You can name it whatever you want. You can also change the image of the title page. Click the image, then click open. And now we are going to insert files to the Google Drive. So just click the Google Drive logo right there. Click the file and click insert. You can also add the text by inserting a text box. So as you can see, this is my finished work. I added some files here and I also add some texts. So if you think you are done, then you're gonna just click publish. Click publish again. And if you just want to view your published site, then click view right there at the bottom. Okay, so we are done. Okay, so I hope that, uh, uh, um, it's too fast, right? But we can we can um this video is re uh, this meeting is recorded and then we can just um uh, see it again and again in order for you to walk through and then create your e-portfolio so do you have any question with that uh, i don't think so because it's clearly um, explained so this would be your rubrics in following the e-portfolio so when you create your e-portfolio, make sure that this criteria is included, okay?
Have you seen the criteria? The criteria is the content, creativity, and timeliness. So, when you create your e-portfolio, you put in mind, think about the criteria. If you want the higher grade, just align yourself in number five. The content is the, the output required are complete, well done, and are arranged accordingly. And then when you say creativity, the outputs show excellent utilization of designs. Very artistic and are pleasing to the eyes of the beholder. <laughs> Muranig mga babae, mga gusto sila maibugan sa mga lalaki, so it must be pleasing. Joke lang. Okay. So timeliness, the output shall be submitted on time before deadline. Okay. So this is your um, rubrics that you need to follow so that you can receive a good remarks for your grades. Next. Oh, it's a post test already. So meaning we are done. We are done with our um, meeting this afternoon. So in your post test, I want you to go to another, another site. Uh, wait long, you will go here. Uh, here, you will go. Diba class point, Now you are going to come here. Uh, you are going to the post test. You are going to type. You can see here www.menti.com and then you type the code. When you type the code, there are questions there, two questions to answer. And then after that, you type your answer, you submit, wait for another question, the second question, and then you type your answer and then submit. So, okay? Sir, that... say, sir, sir. Wala kana, kita, da, sir. Kana, makita sa screen. Do you see in the screen? Ikaw nakita, sir. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wala, ah, sir. Wala, wala mamun itingog. <laughs> <laughs> Ingong bitaw ko ninyo. Wala ko ma-share. <laughs> okay. I will share my screen. Okay. This is this is the one. Kana siya. Sa babaw. Makita ninyo. Nga na ay. www.menti.com And then you, you type the code. And after that, this question will appear. Type your answer, submit, and wait for the second question. And then the second question, uh, if the second question appears, type your answer, and then again, you submit. Do you have any question? Money and code, sir. Yes, that's the code. Six. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's two questions. When you submit the submit the first, wait for the second question. And then type your answer and then submit. Okay, done. Wait, sir. Mana, sir. Okay, good. Ikaw na siya, Junel Herodias? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I recognize yun. your voice. <laughs> okay, so we are done with our discussion this afternoon. So, um, thank you so much. Have a great day. And we will see each other again. Um, uh, I hope that you learn you learn uh, many things today, and then I hope that this will help you uh, develop your skills, and then your knowledge, and then 
It will help you um, present yourself very well. <clears throat> Example, when you are applying for a job, this could be very helpful to keep your things organized and to help yourself uh, presenting very well and then very good in the eyes of those people that will going to interview you or know more things about you and then mga references. So this, this could be helpful. And then thank you so much uh, for that time. See you again next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye sir. sir. Thank you, Bye. sir. Okay. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Mwah.